What's up, Nerdyverse? I'm Daddy Louie, and in this video, we're taking a look at a game called Bike Route Sacramento, so stick around. As always, if you're new to our channel and you want to see more content like this, start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Bike Route Sacramento is uh, published by Table Star Games. Uh, it is available right now on their website and on Amazon. I will leave links to those in the description below. Uh, it is slated for two to four players. It takes about 30 to uh, 60 minutes to play, and it is rated for ages. Um, at first glance, you will look at the game and think that it is uh, a clone or a copy of games like Ticket to Ride. Uh, but once you get inside, you'll realize that uh, it is not at all. Uh, the gameplay is uh, smooth, uh, calculating uh, points is much simpler, and, uh, you know, gameplay is just easier to pick up, learn, and teach. Uh, I was nervous at first that this game was going to be kind of a niche gift uh, for those who, uh, you know, are from Sacramento or have visited Sacramento or are uh, cyclists or enjoy biking. Uh, but I am none of those things, and I really enjoy the game. Uh, and if you'll join me on the table, we will uh, take a look. All right, so the box is uh, a pretty standard uh, size board game box. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, fits really nicely on the shelf. Um, you have kind of uh, some of the sites uh, that you'll visit while playing the game uh, right up here on the top. And of course, you have the name of the game. And uh, the little slogan that says, For people who love bikes, games, and Sacramento. Um, we're going to emphasize on the uh, people who love games. Because uh, I really do feel like this game is for everybody. You don't just have to like uh, bikes and or Sacramento. Inside the box you have uh, your two main components that you need to play the game. That is your route cards and your, uh, your pawns. Which are inside this bag here. The game comes with... Um, uh, 26 pawns uh, of each color. There are six colors, so there's a lot of pawns inside this bag. Uh, you also have three, uh, four, sorry, um, kind of uh, quick rules uh, cards for each player to have. These are really handy to have next to all of the players. And then you have your route cards. These are the cards that you will use to score and uh, complete your routes and show you the value of what each route is. And of course, uh, you need to have a game board. Game board is uh, a nice size four sectioned uh, game board and uh, all one piece, which is great. And then of course you have your rules. The rules are really light, which I like. It's just a one page pamphlet uh, with some optional rules on the back, which I will leave for you guys to discover on your own. And uh, let's set up for a game and I'll show you how it plays. Okay, so right now uh, you're only looking at half of the board uh, due to space. I can't show you the whole board. Um, but at the beginning of the game, all players are going to uh, draw four random uh, pawns from inside the bag. Uh, you see I have two white, a black, and a yellow here. And you're also going to get two random uh, route cards. And the game is played to seven points. So the first player to score seven points on their turn uh, wins the game. And uh, on your turn, you can complete uh, two actions. And the actions that you have to choose from is you can draw one new route card from the route deck. You can uh, put two pawns, uh, one or two pawns, anywhere on the map. Uh, so you place these pawns on their uh, respective colors on the board. Uh, you can draw two new pawns from inside the bag or you can uh, discard all of your pawns into the bag and draw uh, new pawns up to the amount that you uh, discarded into the bag. Um, one thing to note is that you can never have more than 10 pawns uh, at a time, so it prevents people from uh, hoarding pawns and keeping them away from other players. You always need to be playing pawns, uh, which is a mechanic that is different from a game like Ticket to Ride. So the other thing that you can do on your turn um, that doesn't count as one of your two actions is to score one route card. 
um, and you can only score one per uh, turn, and that's to prevent someone from winning the game all in one round. Um, so you'll want to make sure that you score your route cards as soon as uh, you can, because you don't want another player to be close to winning and score um, on a card when you could have uh, been scoring your cards as well. Um, so, but it is only one per turn, so even if you score two routes in one turn, you have to wait a whole turn before you can score uh, the second card. Now, uh, you see here that I've completed um, a little route. Uh, just to show you, I got two yellows here and a blue, white, blue. Uh, the white is on top of a wild spot. So you can put any color here on these spots that have the multiple colors. And um, basically, uh, uh, one thing to note is that uh, you don't have to play all the same color when you are playing your two pawns. And you don't have to play them on the same route or on a route that's already been started. So for example, on my turn, um, I could just play uh, a yellow and a blue here. And then on my opponent's turn, they may, if they want to, they could play a yellow there, which actually helps me um, because then on my turn, I can play uh, the two that I needed here to complete this route, which would allow me to score a uh, route card. So here you see this route card. Um, on the route cards, it says how much it's worth. This is worth one point. Again, we're playing up to seven. Uh, in the top right corner, it shows you a small mini map of where the route is on the board. So it kind of shows you that it's up top uh, by these rivers. And then it shows you the two locations that you need to, uh, to connect to. So here we have uh, Smith Trail and Science Center. So those are the two routes that we want to connect. The Smith Trail and it goes along to Science Center. So that is a completed route. And on my turn, I could score this for one point. Uh, and I'll leave it out for everybody to be able to see on the board so they know how many points that I've accumulated. Uh, there are uh, routes inside of the deck that are anywhere from one, two, three point, one, two, or three points. So you'll want to make sure that you are paying attention to what other players can do. Uh, obviously the one points are shorter routes, two is like your mediums, and threes are like your, long, your longer routes. So if somebody has four points showing on the board and they have a card hidden, uh, you can almost assume that they're, they may have a two or a three and they could uh, score and win at any time. So uh, you do want to pay attention to your own routes, but you also want to understand that uh, anybody can follow anybody's route. So, um, you know, you are both uh, helping yourself and you're also helping uh, the other players on the board when you're completing routes. So you'll want to make sure that you uh, pay attention to that. Again, there are some rules inside of the game uh, to change things up a little bit, but uh, those are basically the core mechanics of how to play uh, Bike Rock Sacramento. So you'll keep uh, going around the table, allowing uh, players to uh, perform two actions. Again, draw a route card, uh, take two pawns and place them on the map, draw two pawns from inside the bag, Discard your pawns and draw the same number from the bag. And of course, uh, not counted as an action, you can score a route card on your turn. And that is uh, the, the basic mechanics of how to play Bike Route Sacramento. And in a nutshell, that's everything that you need to know in order to play Bike Route Sacramento. Uh, as you can see, it does have a few similarities to games like Ticket to Ride. Um, but at its core, it is a simpler faster, um, easier game to play and keep track of. If uh, you are a fan of uh, games like Ticket to Ride, uh, maybe this game uh, doesn't have enough uh, complexity for you or, um, you know, something like that in order to interest you. However, I do think that this is a better game to introduce people to the genre uh, so if you are a hardcore Ticket to Ride player, uh, this game is still a great buy for you to help you to introduce people into that genre uh, who may be struggling with games like uh, Ticket to Ride at uh, first glance. So I do think that this game has its merits. Uh, I do enjoy the different locations uh, that you get to visit in Sacramento, considering I've never been there and may never go. 
Um, and this is coming from a guy who is kind of a hardcore ticket to ride player. Uh, I own um, several of the games and I enjoy all of them. So uh, this game was great, especially with my kids and uh, some non-gamers uh, because it was very easy to teach, very easy for them to learn. Uh, now they are excited about the next game night, which is kind of the idea anyway. So uh, I think that this game is worth a buy. Like I said, it is uh, on developer's website as well as Amazon. There are links to those in the description below. Uh, I want to thank them for allowing us to look at their great game. And uh, let us know what you think uh, down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. Make sure that you share it with your uh, family, friends, and your nerdy communities. Uh, if you have any suggestions for the channel, please leave them in the comment section down below. We do read them all and respond. Also, we have a podcast comes out every Tuesday called The Cosmic Disaster Show. You can find that right here on YouTube or uh, on any podcasting platform such as iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, etc. For a little bit of extra love and affection, please make sure that you check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash circle of nerds. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I will see you in the next video.